Hey everyone, it's Kong again with another Illusion Connect video. And I'm on account day 7 right now, and I figured I might as well uh, blow all of my summoning resources. It's the one kind of main area of the game that I haven't gotten to experience yet, and since summoning on a gacha game is a big part of the draw, I wanted to see if it's something that's going to help me want to continue playing this. So I'm going to look at the banners. I'll start from the bottom. So your Radiant Summon, that is your basic generic summon. Uh, that's pulling at the regular summoning pool. Then we have these three special currency banners. Uh, this Contribution Summon, you have, I guess on these three you have a pity of 99 summons. And these banners rotate characters after, it looks like, 69 days. Uh, so I have 60 days left to get 99 shots at this for a guaranteed Nicola. And this one uses your guild contribution, your guild medals, as the summoning currency. Similarly, up here we have Honor Summon, which uses your arena badges. And then we have Gnosis Summon, which uses your um, arcana materials. Then we have this uh, kind of um, launch banner, which has Miyuki, so it is a good banner. But as a free-to-play player who I kind of want to try to summon, I guess, a wider variety of units just to get a feel for them all. I don't think I'll be summoning on this one just because I'll have that free Miyuki guaranteed tomorrow, and although for serious players it's probably good to have dupes, I think I'd probably rather spread things out a little bit. Then we have this banner with these two characters that I don't really know much about and, to be honest, am not super interested in. And this is a select ticket banner for the Halloween event, featuring this new character, Jemmy. And this one's interesting because most of the select ticket banners are tied to your account age, but because this one's an event banner, it's actually uh, server-wide at the same time, so everyone has access to this one right now. And speaking of which, the other um, select banner that I have available right now is the Maki banner, since she um, launched at four days account age. I was originally considering hoarding my um, select tickets for Anna because she's a really good healer and I find her very annoying to face her in the story modes. And the Anna select ticket banner is coming up at 25 days account age, which for a free-to-play player I think would give me just about enough time to stock up a decent supply of select tickets. Um, but now that this kind of limited event character launched, and we don't know if she's going to be going into the regular summoning pool, or at least I don't, I'm sure someone out there does. I think I might just use my 20 summons on her to pop the guaranteed SSR partner and hope it's her, and then I'll have another, like, 20 days to save up for Anna. And then there's this uh, newbie offer banner, which... Um, if you can remember about 15 seconds ago, these three characters are the characters who are on the three special currency banners. So rather than summon on this, at least for now, I think I'll just summon what I can on their respective banners and then see who I get. And in fact, I'm going to summon on this one first just because on the offhand wild chance I get Anna here, then I'll know I don't need to save up my select tickets. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to blow everything because there's no sense in hoarding. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be playing this game. I guess it maybe partly depends on the results of this session. So let's just get started and get some summoning endorphins going. Check out this sweet summoning animation for the first time. So we got some pulsing diamond thing. Okay, and I think I get an extra pulse if I'm getting an SSR, so I think I'm going to be limited to SRs at best here. And there are a lot of characters I don't have. So pretty much anyone is going to be relatively interesting. In some way or another. Okay, so yeah, look at these new characters. And the ones that I already have I can use for... Um, starring them up too, or increasing their lens or whatever you call it. So we definitely have some more tickets left, so let's just keep pounding away on this rando banner and see if we can end up with a good SSR.
Okay, is this the SSR pulse? We'll find out, won't we? I don't have a good feel for what that looks like yet. Oh, yeah. And it's this uh, crazy dead guy. Creepy, man. So creepy. Can you get double SSRs in this game? I can't. Okay, well, it's a new SSR anyway. He's a tank, apparently. We're gonna keep going. That's the way we do things around here. We pull random SSRs that we don't know anything about, and we have no appreciation for. Okay, so no SSR this time. Let's see if we get a good SR, at least. Nothing too exciting. We're gonna keep going. Dip into the old crystal stock. Uh, yeah, don't show again this month. That's a convenient little feature. One thing I like about that Arcana mode is that it lets you play with characters that you don't have. So you can uh, kind of get a feel for... Oh, three SRs in a row. Nice. So yeah, wow, four in this batch. Well, that's got to be some pretty good luck overall, right? But yeah, as I was saying, you can get a feel for characters that you, you don't have access to yet, and kind of, uh, I guess it's a really good idea to whet your appetite for summoning, too. So another SS, or another SR at best, sorry. Only the one... Edge Lord so far for SSRs. Yeah. Annie, she's new. Okay. Getting new SRs. This is not bad. We're going to keep going. The only thing I really need to keep gems for is contributing them to my guild. And, uh. Oh, here we go. Another SSR. Oh, Pan. Nice. I've used her in that Arcana mode, and she seems really good. Glad to have her. Let's see who the SSR is going to be. Hopefully it's Anna. Oh, it's Selena again. That's hilarious. Selena was my first pull from my uh, my newbie 10 batch, so I guess I'll be able to use that for merge. Oh, another SSR. Nice, a double. Okay, Diana. She's a healer, I guess. So maybe I won't need Anna that badly anymore. Wow, that's a great batch right there. Two SSRs and Pan. But you know what? Why stop there? It's not why we play a gacha game, right? You don't play a gacha game not to summon. Gotta chase those endorphins. Okay. Three of that guy in a row. Chio, who I don't have yet. And that's it for that batch. Let's keep it going. I guess one nice thing about not being super familiar with the characters is that I don't have anything, like, really in mind for what I want to walk away with from these summons. So I'm just kind of randomly just blowing through all my stuff and then I'll go back and piece through everything afterwards. Figure it all out later. Summon first, ask questions later. That's not usually my approach in Langrisser, but in this game it kind of has to be. I think I might have one, two ten batches left after this. So pretty good haul overall, really. Another copy of Diamond. Gigi, May, May's new. I think I must be putting a pretty good dent in the uh, list or the roster of SR characters at this point. Oh, 
Okay, here we go, another SSR, great. Who's it gonna be? Ashwaya, okay, she's one of the creepy monster people on that one banner that I wasn't super interested in. So I've got an edgelord dude and this chick, and then a copy of Selena and Diana. So that's four SSRs so far, so far, and I do have... Wait, do I have enough? No, I think I need like 50 more diamonds. Well, I can easily get that from... Actually, I can probably get that from my uh, personal quests right now from having done all those summons. Actually, I'll be able to get it from the album for sure, too. Because when you get new characters, I might, no, yeah, I'm not even going to need to go in there. When you get new characters, their, um, their entries in the album give you some diamonds. Maybe even enough to do another summon on top of that one, but I doubt it. What have I got in here? Yeah, this game's pretty generous with just piling diamonds on you. In fact, why don't I just check, just in case? So it looks like it's a hundred... A hundred for SR characters. Sixty for our characters. I may get enough for another summon, you know? And for SSR characters, 150. Sorry, you're going to have to bear with me clicking on all these free treasures, but this is all part of the summoning hype experience. Look at all this stuff. I appreciate all these characters for bringing me moolah. Does this go to the next character? No, that goes to the next page of her. Yes, I'm using you for your diamonds. Anything for one more ten pull. This is actually ridiculous. Although, I wonder how long before this generosity dries up. You know, once you have summoned all these characters, then this kind of floodgate of free currencies, you don't really have access to it anymore. Unless they keep up a steady supply of events. So I had, what, about 2,000 before I came in to do all this? Okay, I think that's everyone in here. Oh yeah, look at that, wow. Pretty much doubled my supply. Well, time to blow it. Not worth it for that pull, at least. 
Another copy of Anne. Lots of copies. Another copy of Tiffany. Okay. And this will be my last regular summon here. Let's see if I'll uh, go out with a bang with another... <laughs> another two SSRs in this batch would be pretty sweet. That was a great pull. No, no SSRs this time. That's okay, we can't get greedy. Chio again. Jasmine again. Okay. Now, moving on. What can I do here? I can do one ten pull on this banner with my guild medals. Why wouldn't I do that? Okay, interesting. So you get shards and a whole bunch of different stuff. Just some resources. Cool. Um, I can't really do a multi on this banner yet. Or this one, so I'm going to hang on to those. And for my select tickets, I think I am going to just pop a couple summons at this crazy immortal Lolita character. Uh, the other guy, the other event guy, the tuxedo mask looking motherfucker, is coming up on his own banner at some other point, but I'm not super interested in him, so let's just see if we get lucky here. I mean, I'm guaranteed an SSR in two multis. I'm actually going to get one right now. So yeah, it's just a question if it's going to be Jimmy or some rando. Two SRs that I didn't have before. And Miyuki, that's hilarious. That's not bad. That's not a bad result. I know I was saying that I'm going to be happy with my free one anyway, but like I said, she's a good character to get dupes of. Well, now it, that makes me wonder if I should just save these, knowing that um, I don't think my next summon will guarantee me another SSR partner. I think getting Miyuki there makes this little guarantee null. Um... But then again, Anna is 20 days away, and I will be able to save up. That's at least 20 more tickets, plus whatever they give you for events and stuff. So why not? That's This is what we're here for, right? Let's see what we can do. Oh, no SSR. Okay. Oh, Rikia. Nice. I thought I had her already, to be honest, but I guess not. Lots of SRs in these in these uh, multi-batches. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So I'm all out of select tickets. I'm all out of normal tickets. I don't think there's anything else I can do for... Unless I wanted to do singles here. But I kind of don't, to be honest. Yeah, so I think that's going to be it for the summoning. But I'll tell you what I can do. I have been just banking a lot of these materials that I haven't opened, so why not do some random rolls on gear? So some SR stuff. I've got a whole bunch of random partner shards here that I haven't cashed in, so let's just see what happens if we blast out six enforcers, one Angela, two Anna shards, five Miyuki shards, one Vivian shard. Hersey, Fenebeth, two more Selena shards after summoning my dupe already. Six Phoebe, four Diana. Mr. Edgelord, four Yuffie shards. Okay. Three Karaya shards. Mackie. All right, that looked fairly productive. Let's see what I can do with these. Use 60 out of 70. Um, to get one SR partner, do I get to choose? If I get to choose, maybe I should um, look at who I'm missing. After all that summoning, I kind of lost track of, of who I have and who I don't. So there's SSRs. So I don't have Beatrice for SR. 
She's the only SR I don't have, and I have 3 out of 30. Is it worth it? If I get to choose, is it worth unlocking Beatrice? Or should I use those shards on someone I want to upgrade? Well, let's see how they work first. We'll just use it. Oh, it's just random. Okay, so it just randomly summons an SR for you. Well, GG again. That's not too bad. Cool. Well, that was fun. That feels like it was productive. And <laughs> just scrolling through my partner menu there was actually kind of intimidating because it's uh, <laughs> tons of characters that I haven't looked over and I don't know what they do and I have to build them up now. Or potentially build them up. And kind of see what I have available to me for, for uh, duping and merging as well. But that will be for another time, since this was my summoning video, and I'll tell you, I summoned. So I'll take a quick look at this um, Halloween event. This is that guy that's going to be coming on another summoning banner. I just want to take a peek at what's in the uh, rewards. So it looks like we have some SSR boxes. A few SSR boxes. Five summoning tickets. Uh, one of these honor gems, some shards for that new guy, more SSR boxes, five select tickets, which is probably the prize of this event, to be honest, and then this skin as well. So there's going to be a lot of grinding to be done. That is probably what I'll have to focus on this week. <laughs> and learning about my new partners. Okay, thanks for uh, bearing with me through that. Hopefully that was um, an exciting little jolt. I don't feel disappointed by it because I don't really know what any of these characters do and I wasn't really going in with anyone specific in mind that I wanted other than Anna long term but I'm gonna have lots of chances to get her. So I think I had a fairly successful session actually. I'll be able to build up my Selena a little bit more. I got Pan who I was actually after and uh, yeah a lot of other SSRs to play with so it's gonna definitely give me kind of a variety of things to work with in my box now. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next Illusion Connect video. Cheers, everyone.